Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys don't know who I am, my name is Divyanka and I'm a doctor of pharmacy in the US. I am living my best professional life and here on this channel, I'm here to help you live your best and most productive life. Okay, so today is my third video in my mid-year 2020 series and this video actually came about because one of you guys actually reached out and asked this question and I thought it was an absolutely fantastic question. I think it's so relevant when it comes to mid-year and preparing for interviews. So I thought I would address it in today's video. So the question that I got asked is how do I research pharmaceutical companies for prepping for fellowship interviews? Now this is an absolutely great question because you're not only coming in contact with one company, you're coming in contact with many and it's always important to research your company company and do some homework in that realm regardless of if you're interviewing at mid-year or somewhere else but of course when it comes to mid-year it's extremely relevant now the first thing I want to stress here is organization I've mentioned this in both of the previous mid-year videos and it's incredibly important if you're not going to stay organized during this process, you will lose track of who you talk to, what stage you're at for which company, and it's going to get really confusing. Another thing that's going to get really confusing is the facts about each company. So again, the first step is really staying organized. Now how I stayed organized in regards to gathering details for pharmaceutical companies, doing my research, doing my homework, getting to know details about their history, their pipeline, etc. I would create these Word documents and it would be one document per pharmaceutical company and I would put them all in the same folder. Now, like I've mentioned previously, I had an Excel spreadsheet on which I would write which companies I've interviewed with, what's my status for each company, who I've talked to, maybe what some of my interview conversations were about and the schedule of my interviews so that Excel spreadsheet is for scheduling and for other details and then the word documents were for gathering research writing questions etc for each company this was super easy to maneuver because I basically had the spreadsheet open all the time and then anytime I needed to look at a specific company's detail I would only open that word document that way you're not confused by all this information you're only looking at the relevant information for that specific company so that way it really helped so I actually have created this downloadable for you guys it's the template that I used to gather all my information for these specific companies it's just a Microsoft Word document but again if it helps you guys to stay organized I hope that you guys use it so there's a link down below for a Google form if you could just fill that out and once I get your response you'll receive the downloadable via email within 24 hours again all you have to do is fill out the Google form down below you'll get emailed the downloadable to then write all your information about the different companies you're interviewing with and prepping for on those documents and save them like I did. So now I'm just gonna go through the aspects of the downloadable that you will see when you get it. And I'm just gonna quickly explain why those aspects are important and why you might wanna gather information in such way. So the first thing that I have on the document is of course the name of the company. That way it's just the first thing you see, it's right there and you will never get confused. The second thing that I have is location, the location of the company, headquarters, etc. This of course is extremely important. Some pharmaceutical companies are not headquartered in the US and even within the US, the state definitely will matter because if you end up getting a fellowship, you wanna know exactly where you will be. So that location piece is very important. Again, the location piece can be extremely important for small talk in interviews. If you have some connection to the state or you've always wanted to live there or something of the sort, you can kind of always infuse that into conversation. Now, the third thing I write is company size. Now, again, this is extremely important because you want to know what you're getting into. Are you going into a small company that consists of 25 people or are you interviewing for a big company that's thousands and thousands of people? You really need to know the size of the company to assess its culture, to assess its dynamic, to understand the program for so many things. So company size is truly important and that is the third thing that I have listed on this downloadable. The fourth thing I list is company mission. Although most of the biotech and pharmaceutical companies kind of have the same mission, they want to save patient lives, it is still important to read that, write it down, and make sure you understand it because some companies have really unique aspects to their mission. A, it's important to understand their goals, and B, again, it's important because if you can fuse this into conversation, it's always helpful. Now, the next thing that I list going off of that is company values. Values are of course different than the mission and it's really important to understand what the company really values. 
Moreover, you want to make sure that what the company values is something they actually implement on. So if they're saying they're going to do XYZ, they want the company to be like XYZ, you want to assess in your interview if it's really like that. And on top of that, you want to make sure that that's something you want. Does it line up with your values? Does it line up with the values of a company that you would like to see yourself work at? There's so many questions there. So again, very important to list. Next, I actually list if the company has any approved drugs or any drugs in the pipeline. This is extremely important because honestly, this probably will come into conversation in the interview. And when you're interviewing with a pharmaceutical company, it's almost expected that you know this. You really want to understand where the company lies in the whole drug discovery timeline. Are they a company that's extremely novel? They are in clinical trials, but they don't have anything approved yet. Are you talking to a company that has two or three approved products and there's more in the pipeline or are you talking to a big pharmaceutical company that has many many approved drugs and they're well established so again this is something that you really want to pay attention to make sure you know and definitely do your research on the next thing i actually list is the executive team and the leadership of the company it is important to know who the ceo is head of medical affairs if you're applying for medical affairs head of regulatory if you're applying to regulatory etc it's incredibly important to know the higher up leadership of the company and again assess what role they play how they make their decisions etc now the next thing i list is the details of the fellowship program itself of course, what therapeutic area it's in, but moreover, how many years the fellowship program is, what aspects does the fellowship program have, pros and cons of the fellowship program, the location of the fellowship, if it's different than the location you've listed before, objectives that they listed for the fellow for the fellowship program, etc. A holistic view of the fellowship program. And this is, again, incredibly necessary because this is what you're going to be doing. If you land the fellowship, this is going to be you. So it's very important for you to realize what it consists of, what's expected of you, etc. I also make sure to list if they have any past fellows, how many years the fellowship program has been alive at this company, who the current fellows are, etc. Again, that information is incredibly important and you will probably come Come in contact with the fellows at least because they'll be the ones interviewing you for your first couple of rounds next on my sheet i list any company news and that can come from youtube twitter any sort of media the news again any article the internet a simple google search can help you start and you can really find out a lot about the company and this is going to help you because if you read through this if you really understand it and if you're able to talk about it in your interview they're going to realize that you stay on top of your stuff your knowledge is very relevant to what's happening currently and again if it's centered on the company that is definitely going to be impressive that is about it for the research portion now i have two more sections on the document and the first is to highlight some talking points based on this research if i found anything incredibly interesting if i wanted to mention some Something about their company size anything that it is any specific detail that I actually really want to mention in my interview I list here so I put it under talking points to again review right before the interview so I can look at it and be like okay I need to make sure to mention this I need to make sure to mention this um, and again that's just kind of prep work for interviews the last thing on my page is questions. It is incredibly important to ask questions in interviews. So I actually list about six to seven questions at least that I have prepped to ask this company. You will probably only have time to ask between one to five questions. But again, it's definitely better to be prepared. And if you have six to seven questions prepared, it's actually better because if you have multiple rounds of interviews, you don't necessarily have to come up with new questions. Of course, build on the previous interview if you have multiple rounds, but at least this way you have a place to start. So that was super quick, but I hope that was helpful. Those are all the sections that I would put on my document when I was preparing for interviews based on the research for each pharmaceutical company. And again, the downloadable is below. So go ahead and use the Google form, put in your information. You will get the downloadable emailed within 24 hours. And if you have any questions, definitely feel free to email me. You guys have been great at this, so continue doing that. Thank you so much for watching. That is it for this video, and you guys will see me next time.